In this video, I'm going to share how I use Notion and Zapier, yes, Zapier, to automatically create a project, assign a task to my VA whenever someone purchases a particular product, freeing up my time by automating a repeated workflow so I can focus on the important parts of the business and not the tiny, tiny little details that can be automated. So let's get started. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't heard from me before, my name is Jonathan. I'm a simplicity specialist who helps small businesses and teams to simplify their business and their tech so that they can focus on the things that they enjoy more instead of the things that they don't. And in this video, I'm going to be nerding out about how you can finally use Notion and Zapier together. Zapier is a tool that helps you connect different apps together. And as of the time of this recording, there is still no official Zapier integration with Notion. But thanks to the guys at Notion Automations, that now exists. And I'm fairly excited. So I'm going to show you how I'm testing it out and playing with it while we wait for the official Zapier integration. What I was looking to achieve was the following. When someone purchases a consult for me, a project is created with the name of the product and the client's name. And then a task is then created, letting my wonderful team know that they need to send an invite to book an intro call. Now, this is an incredibly simple automation and many other tools like Trello, Asana, ClickUp can do this really easily. Uh, however, they put me in a box and make me do it their way. And I like doing things my way, saying, so, yeah, I wanted to do it in Notion. Thankfully, with Notion automations, I can. Let me walk you through this app. The first step is to capture the name and the email of the person who purchased from my shopping cart. If you want to do multiple products, you can also capture the product. But in this example, I already know the product. I've pre-selected it. Now, my shopping cart is Thrivecart. However, this also should work with apps like Gumroad or Sendal. As long as there's some form of Zapier integration, you can use it. From there, I've got their name and email address so I can pass them both on to my team. Next up, I'm needing to add a new entry into my project database inside of Notion. To do this, first of all, I need to have the URL of the project database itself. Now, this doesn't have to be the public as it's connected by the unofficial API, so it's just the standard link. Then, because I want it on my home dashboard, I've set the focus project checkbox to true, so it'll tick it and add it to the front page via a filter. Then I assign the project to me, and for the project title, I have an abbreviated version of the product name and the customer's first name and last name, which is pulled in from the shopping cart. So now I want to create the task, assign it to the project as well as my team. Now, this requires a little bit of cheeky trickery, but we got around it. Before I can assign the project to the task, I need to know the URL of the newly created project, which I've just done, which then can connect to the relational database property in my task database. Thankfully, Zapier can pull specific data and show it to me. So that's what I've done in step three. So now we've got that project URL, we can switch to my task database and create the new task. Like before, I do need to have the Notion URL to my database. I then decided to add a little emoji because it looks nice and I wanted to make it clear it was a scheduling task. I assigned the due date to today and then I took the project URL and added it into the project property, which is a relation which is usually added manually. Continuing down from there, I named the task accordingly and assigned it to a team member. Inside the task page itself, I pulled in the email from the shopping cart, as well as a quick link to my scheduler. So all you need to do was copy, paste and send away. Now, this is just one of the many, many use cases that you can use with the unofficial API from Notion Automations. On their website, you can see an awful lot more. So no matter what apps you may use, the possibilities are so vast. It's amazing. I'm excited to keep exploring what is possible with this integration while we wait for the official API, which will hopefully be coming soon. Let me know if you're going to be testing out the unofficial API and what zaps you'd like to see me create next. And I might record a video on it. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.